Hey guys, this is Saram from Skilllink. Remember those heavy washing machines that our parents used to own when we were young? These machines used to produce a lot of noise every time they were operated. And if you touched those machines when they were running, you could feel strong vibrations coursing through your hands. Did you know that some of the first automatic washing machines produced enough vibrations that they literally walked when they operated? In fact, in 1937, there was a company called Bendix Corporation that manufactured the first automatic washing machines. These machines had to be strapped to the floor because they moved too much due to vibrations. So how did we move from having heavy vibrating to quieter washing machines? There were three vital components missing in the early machines that caused those noises and vibration. They were the drum suspension, a counterweight and a vibration damper. In this video, I'm going to explain how each of these components played a vital role in optimizing the design of washing machine. Firstly, the early automated washing machines lack a drum suspension. So what is a drum suspension? When you open your machine to load your laundry, you are actually loading your clothes in the inner drum. The inner drum is mounted inside an outer drum using a saddle lock system. The outer drum is attached to the body of the washing machine. There is a specific reason why we have this outer drum. When the washing machine is on, the inner drum rotates and would start vibrating and shaking in its place. Without the outer drum, it would bang against the other parts of the washing machine. Hence, the outer drum is used to mount the inner drum so that when it spins, it doesn't cause damage or vibrations. In modern washing machines, the outer drum is attached to the body of the machine using spring suspensions to absorb the vibrations. Since the early washing machines lacked these suspensions, the vibration from the inner drum would simply travel through the outer drum and then throughout the whole washing machine. This was the main cause of the loud noises and vibration. Even with the suspensions counteracting the movements of the drum, the inner drum still produces powerful centrifugal forces that causes the machine to move. This brings us to the second component. To counteract the centrifugal forces, engineers decided to add a counterweight to absorb them. Most washing machines still hold a block of concrete in them that weigh the machine down in its place. These counterweights are placed opposite to the motor's location. In addition to weighing the machine down, these counterweights also help to balance the heavy motor. With the suspensions and counterweights, the vibrations were mostly muted. But there was still a residual vibration left for which engineers decided to use a vibration damper. In the underside of the drum, there are two damper mechanisms present. They connect the drum to the machine frame as well and absorb the vibrations produced. Aside from what we discussed, there are several other interesting aspects in a washing machine like how the design of the blade can affect the flow of water. If you found this video interesting and would like to learn more about product design and development, you should definitely take a look at some of our design-based courses. The links are in the description box below. Hope you found this video interesting. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you guys in the next video. Bye.